G'day guys, it's Rob from TAT. Just got a super quick tip today. Some of you in the past have seen us do relative compression tests and you might be wondering to yourselves here, yeah, but how do you know what the actual numbers are? And with the Pico and the WPS 500, you're able to do that with a quick and simple test. So stick with us and I'll show you how we do it. Alrighty, so this is how we do it. We've obviously got our Pico scope up set up here. I've already done the test, but what we do is we put the channel one on the battery. So instead of a uh, amp clamp as such, we're just using AC coupled single channel lead. Um, we get the WPS 500 hooked up to one particular cylinder. Uh, we, we, in this case, we're doing a quick test. We've just disconnected the coils and you just jump onto the test in Pico Diagnostics and we just choose compression test over here. We choose our pressure. You obviously got to play around with these liters, compression ratio, that sort of stuff. You got to tick the box for use pressure sensor and then it knows that you're using the WPS 500 so you can actually get the numbers off it. And then click start, it tells you to crank the engine and then you get the final result. And as you can see on the screen, 183, 173, 183, 179. Obviously the numbers are, are relative, they're approximate, but you know, approximate is pretty good when we want to know if they're actually low or they're actually high. So I'll just put display raw voltage and you can see that's our normal when we do a relative compression test, you will recognize that as that's what we're seeing. And our red mark is our actual WPS uh, compression. So this is the first time I've used it. It's obviously, um, there's probably a little bit of playing around with it. You know, if you get a low cylinder, how do you determine which one it is? But, you know, once you get to that point, you can, you know, if you're pretty handy with the tools, you, you know where to uh, go further with that. So, yeah, a very simple test and very quick to do. Um, and obviously on this engine, that spark plug is extremely easy to get to. Uh, so it's not always going to be the case. But, you know, if you need to get some numbers, then this is a pretty easy test to do in comparison to ripping out every single spark plug and doing it one at a time. So there you go guys, hopefully that makes sense to you. It's a pretty quick and easy test to do. And obviously if the, you know, if it's hard to get a spark plug or a, a glow plug on a particular engine, then hopefully we can just at least get one and do this test to get some actual numbers. Not knowing with a relative compression test if all the compressions are really high or they're all really low, this is a great test to add to your arsenal to be able to look further for diagnosis. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.